Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rafal. Uh, this time we have an iPhone 6 Plus uh, that has the Aero 4013. And uh, this is not a video about the Aero 4013, but what I noticed lately, and I was getting a few messages and even on my uh, some YouTube comments, uh, that uh, one, some people are having issues after updating or restoring to iOS 11.1 uh, that the phone will not activate. Um, so um, I was searching online and um, I found that if you had the Aero 413 and you formatted it at NAND, uh, that you remove something from the hard drive that Apple recognized and they pretty much locked the phone. So you, you, you cannot use it anymore, which is stupid. So um, I have an Aero 413 here. I'm going to do the regular spiel. I'm going to put a different NAND on it just to see, just to have the original untouched. We're going to flash the uh, donor NAND and then we're going to put it here and see if it's going to uh, activate the phone. So let's get to it. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Okay, so I have this uh, NAND plugged in. Here's uh, the IP box software. First thing I always like to do is go to IP, IP tools and uh, test social, uh, social, serial number, and then you have the number. And I just like to copy it just to have it right away. And then we go back to IP box. We select 6 plus, that's what it is. And then we're going to have extraction data. This will, you know, download all the information of that particular NAND. Well, this is already saved. So now I'm going to swap a donor board and program all that on a donor board. So first we want to load the information from the original one so you want to have the matching uh, code select the bigger file this is one Details. number two that updates the information over here select these three and I just click right and that's it Okay, so I've restored the phone and I'm getting um, an error. iPhone could not be activated because the activation information could not be obtained from the device. So this is the first time I see something like this, honestly. Um, so let's put the original uh, NAND and see what's gonna happen there. Alright, this is the original NAND. After uh, reflashing it, iTunes just detected it. And okay, it's activating. And I got the same message. Hmm. And what's interesting, all the information is still there the IMEI and so, uh, serial number. So, this is weird. I try, I'm trying different SIM cards as well, and nothing seems to be working. This is something new uh, for me at least. If you, had, you have seen that, let me know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm missing because those are the steps I do every time and I never had this issue. I wonder if this is the way uh, the Apple is like cracking down on uh, memory chip uh, swaps, you know, like when you're upgrading from 16 to 128 gig, uh, apparently iPads are not activating on iOS 11 if you restore it. So um, maybe this is something that's happening on iPhones too. Um, I just noticed that everybody that uh, has similar issues they removed the NAND, flashed it or something like that. I'm curious to see what's what's going on. So hope you like this video. Uh, like it and please comment, let me know.